Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com. Today we're going to show you a nice little universal root method for most Android phones. The only ones that it doesn't work on is the HTC Evo and the G2, at least as far as we've tested so far. So, let's get started and show you how to do it. Okay, before you begin, this should work on most phones. Uh, it does not work on the HTC Evo, so if you have the HTC Evo, please click on the link there to be taken to that procedure instead. This procedure should give you root access. If you want to load a custom ROM, you need to go to the next procedure for your specific device at the bottom of this procedure. This procedure only works on Windows computers, so if you don't have one, please find a friend with one and use that. Uh, it also requires Microsoft.NET 2.0. Click the link there if you don't have it. Okay, next you need to download the latest version of the one-click program. So click on the link there to begin that download. It'll take you to XDA Developers the developers page, scroll down, click on the latest link, and save it to your computer. Okay, on your phone, go to Menu, Settings, Applications, Development, and make sure that USB debugging is checked on. Plug your phone in via USB. Do not mount the SD card. Okay, now that you've saved that file to your computer, you're going to open your file manager and look for the file. It should be a .zip file, so we're going to right click it once we find it. There it is. Extract all. Hit extract. Then we're going to open the folder that we extracted it to. And we're going to right click the application, run as administrator. It should pop up, and we're going to click the root button and wait for it to finish doing its thing. If it at any point during this part of the procedure says waiting for device, please scroll to the bottom of our procedure and look for the reported issues, and you can use those to figure out how to continue. Okay, once it's done, you can scroll down to the bottom and it should say OK down at the very bottom. Now if you open your app drawer, you should have at the very bottom, super user permissions. If so, you're all set. If not, reboot the device and then check again and you should have that. And that means you have root access.